Hi guys, so welcome to another vlog. I know, I'm actually gonna try to stick to it, crazy. If you've noticed that I haven't really uploaded in a little bit, I'm taking a small break from doing nail videos. I am still going to put up vlogs throughout the month though, just not nail videos until we hit February for a couple reasons. David and I are have just been going through a lot and I feel like it's just taken a really big toll to try to pump out a ton of nail videos, deal with all of that. It's taking a toll on my health. And on top of that, one of my cameras broke. I was thinking about trying to film a ton with one of them, which wouldn't make the best video um, and I wouldn't be as happy with it. For a while, I send my cameras off to be cleaned because that nail dust gets into everything. And while the other one, it gets fixed and all my lenses also get clean. But I just decided to just instead just take a small break from nail videos, but they will be back early February so we can make sure to do some Valentine's Day sets. Do not worry, my channel is not changing to only vlogs. This vlog is a little all over the place. I've been really scatterbrained and uh, a little probably emotionally unstable. <laughs> so I apologize if there's not as much context as there should be through everything. I'm gonna try to pop up little explanations here and there. So hopefully you enjoy the video. So today this chunk of the wall is coming out just from here down right there. That way we can put up all of our new cabinets and do a whole new like cabinet thing over here. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. We actually can't open our fridge all the way. When I bought it, they assured me that it would fit in this space and then it didn't. And uh, we didn't have a fridge like at all. So we just kind of went with it. We're also going to be removing this trim right here and just having it be like a drywall wrapping opposed to any trim here, here, here. And it will just go that because we have this like weird little thing right here. So yeah, I'm very excited. I ordered cabinets from Lowe's yesterday and they say they're gonna be here in like 15 minutes. It's like 9 a.m. So Lowe's moves quick apparently. We ended up taking out the cabinets too. So the construction workers just left. So here is the opening all finished. They didn't end up painting this for some reason because I told them I was gonna paint this wall and I think they thought that that extended to that part. <laughs> so they didn't paint it. So David's gonna paint it now. He's sealing up some of like the cracks behind the fridge cause we have ants that come in the spring. And so yeah, he's just sealing that up so that it, no more ants can come. Gotta touch up a couple places and do some cleaning cause there is just dust and stuff everywhere. Like look at, uh, I covered everything. So hopefully our actual stuff should be cleaned up, but I gotta clean all this or it's gonna drive me insane. So we're just getting stuff ready to go take to our vet. They do a donation drive sometime and we like to like add to it if we can. So toys, they asked for like tear things. I don't know, I've never used these for dogs, but that, some cat toys, um, some Kongs, some sl a slip lead or two. I don't know where the other one is. Another Kong. They asked for food scales. They get all this stuff and then they distribute it around Nashville for whatever local shelters need it. And I find that it's a lot easier to donate to the vet and then they can talk to the rescues or whatever and then they can decide who needs what opposed to like trying to go to each individual one. It's just easier. Toys. More toys. Another slip lead. Grabbing a couple more things. Okay, so David's gonna put up my new pantry. If you don't know, basically I use this as my pantry and also this, and it's very inconvenient. Like I can't put any actual stuff I need for it 
and it's not even enough space. And then I end up having to put like all of my cups and stuff here. And it's just very inconvenient. So I'm excited I'm gonna get this back and be able to actually see everything because I feel like I end up wasting a lot of food because I can only see this like a little bit right here. And I think it'll just be better. That's so big. So David's finishing putting together the pantry part. We're gonna put all of the other stuff together later, but I just wanted this that way I could start to move all of my food and stuff. And I'm very, very excited. I've been supervising from here. This plant is starting to look a little droopy, so I'm gonna water it. I'm not very good at plants, but my sister-in-law is, so that's how I have alive ones. Looks good. Sure, have some water. Well, let's put stuff in this. I'm not going to put all of that stuff because we are still planning on scraping the popcorn off the ceiling, painting this wall and putting other stuff on it. So we're gonna have to move this soon, but I do just wanna get everything out of that cabinet to just make life a little bit easier in general. The stuff that usually just sat out right there is gonna go in there also. All right, it is Christmas Eve, but I'm just gonna pick up some packages from my P.O. box because I got a couple texts saying I had stuff. Thank you. Um, what the heck? <laughs> so, I kind of knew that she was sending me something because some of her followers had told me not to watch one of her vlogs, but well, this is so cool, what? How did you get this kind of customized tape? I am so excited and it is heavy. What did she send me? And I also got something else of cool packaging. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. It's heavy. Oh, that is heavy. I was not expecting this. She just packed just because. I think so. So nice of her. He says he's excited to see what's in the box. <laughs> Abba, what are you doing? Okay, so let's unbox these. I want to do it right away because I'm really excited. I'm going to start with this one. I feel weird. You're just staring at me. I'm sorry. I'm just... I know. <laughs> I'm usually only in front of people. Oh my gosh. There's a lot in here. Kaylee, I've traded Squish with her before. Kaylee? Okay. Yeah. <coughs> that's so cute. She got me this. Oh, that's super that's so sweet, sweet of her. Sweet. That was really sweet of her, wasn't it? Do you want a tissue? So I had sold or traded a barren Squish, a big one. I, um, And I actually have one that I sleep with every night. And that's like one of my favorite that I kept when I got rid of, I got rid of most of my Squishmallows because I actually bought them in a manic episode. But one of the few ones I did keep was my Big Baron. So this one's really special because it's the Valentine's Day version. Natasha Denona. Are you crazy? <laughs> These are so expensive. I'll use this soon, thank you. That was really sweet. Ooh, can I see? Ah. Oh, those are cute. Those are cute. Oh, she sent you little hair clips too. I know, they're really cute. Can you see? Those are cute. Okay, let's open this one from Aislinn. I don't even know what could be in here. 
also this is so cool um the people at ups would not stop talking about how cool it looked okay i truly have no idea what's in here i was told not to watch a certain vlog of hers for vlogmas because she shows what is in here so i didn't watch it i promise and david what the heck it's wax sealed yo is that like an actual wax seal too i think so that's cool that is cool but also i didn't know what david likes so hopefully he likes starbucks david loves starbucks so <laughs> david does perfect. love starbucks David loves Starbucks more than anyone else I know, actually. Listen, I love me my milkshakes. <laughs> I apologize to any baristas that live in our area for David shenanigans. You okay? Yeah. Need a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna put these to the side so it doesn't, like, crinkle. Mess up the sound. This is packed so pretty. <laughs> Scrunchy smash any hair color. And there's silk ones too. Or like whatever, I don't know if it's silk, but it's like the material that doesn't catch in your hair. Okay, <clears throat> next. <laughs> bath bombs. Rainbow bath bombs. Rainbow slides. They are rainbow slides. Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. Like, what was it? Like a couple of weeks ago, Emily was literally talking about needing to get a set of I pair was. of slides. Because I always wear my socks, <laughs> just like socks to go get mail and stuff. Our driveway is so weird because it has like seashells built into it and they're really pokey. Why? It's like rocks and seashells mixed with concrete. It's strange. These will be perfect. Coloring book. Cute. Look at how cute. I will color today. This is what's so heavy. Yeah, will you get it? <laughs> oh, it's a rainbow faux fur weighted blanket the perfect color too okay i want to touch it it's so soft Ooh, that do be pretty soft it do be really soft i am so excited it's so soft i feel like i don't even know what to say it's really nice to smell so them know so sweet <laughs> both cards mentioned about like everything we've been going through and I didn't expect anyone to like get us anything or care that much it's really touching that they like did <laughs> you maybe want to take a break and you can film thank you later Done for the day, Purper. <laughs> Hello, so today is Christmas. So we played with the dogs, which was really fun because it's really warm today. It's like 75 out, which was kind of weird, but 
Now we're going to do the dreaded popcorn ceiling. Uh, we've gotten it tested for asbestos in the house, by the way. We already scraped the popcorn ceiling in our closet. closet. So we've done it before um, and we've gotten it tested, so it's fine um, and we know how to do it. So we're gonna do the popcorn ceiling just in this area, not in the living room because that's like gonna, we need a really tall ladder for that. We're gonna do that. And we're also going to do this, the chair railing, I think that's what it's called. Gonna get rid of that. I think that's it for right now. Um, we'll see how much patching up this is going to need. But here is the before essentially. So we found what wallpaper was under here before, and I'm not sure if it's just this little piece or if it's all the way down. So I'm gonna just, should I just do it? Yep. Oh. So under here before we painted, it was actually yellow, which you can't see because we used a, we tried to use a good paint. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> Are you gonna just, I'm seeing how big of a piece I can pull off. Imagine if they had just left it white. That would have been great, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Great. Should we just, I wonder if we can just peel it all off, truly. We might be able to. Oh my God. Yep. Not as satisfying as No. We can only hope that the ceiling comes off just as easily. <laughs> just uncovering some uh, dead bugs that were, I don't know. Alive at one point, I assume. I probably would. What is all that? I don't know. What is all that? I don't know. Okay, so we're putting down some stuff so I can do the ceiling. Don't worry, we've already gotten the ceiling tested for asbestos and stuff like that. No asbestos, we're good. Um, turned into a way bigger project than we planned for tonight because we thought that we were going to be able to just like take the wainscoting off and like patch it and then uh, do the ceiling, but now we're peeling off the paint. So. That's it, I guess. We're done 
with the ceiling and stuff. We're gonna be done for the night. We're cleaning now. We did this for about five hours. I feel like it would have went a lot quicker if we didn't have to peel paint off the walls though, to be fair. I feel like that was a large portion of it. It was. The ceiling actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought that it was gonna be hard. It was a lot of work, but it wasn't as hard as I thought. I think I was slowed down because I was using this like tool that's supposed to help catch the ceiling as it falls, but it gets really heavy. Like it's, it does kind of work and it's also the scrapers that are thinner or at an angle are the best to use, but this one just was too thick and it did catch, but it also got so heavy at the same time. We're going to the park. You guys are gonna see your friends? You gonna see your friends? Buddy, there you go. He oh, no. <laughs> She's like me. Go there you go. There you go, baby. You can <laughs> Levi? No. So today we're going to run some errands after I took the dogs to the park. That way they should be tired for the rest of the day and they had a lot of fun. Um, so I have to bring some of A's stuff, the last of it, to them. And then we're going to go to Lowe's because I need ceiling paint and just, you know, some other random stuff um, to finish up the, I don't know, I would call that dining area. It's not really not dining area. Um, and then we're going to go to Target and I'm hoping, hoping that they have some Valentine's Day stuff out. I know it's early, but Valentine's Day stuff, I love to decorate the house with it in general all year round. Um, so yeah, it's a little, I mean, I like it's not that late. It's kind of like two. So, um, let's skedaddle. My hair looks all crazy because I had my windows open, but first stop didn't go amazing. Tried to be guilt tripped for what reason? I don't know. All I was doing was dropping off stuff that they had requested. Anyway, we're going into Lowe's now. So, let's go. So I actually don't have a broom. I'm trying to see if there's any wallpaper that I like before I order some. I almost went with something like this because it matches the couches, but I don't think I like this one. I almost gravitated towards this one, but I'm actually gonna get a new rug for the living room so it wouldn't really match that much anymore. I think I'm gonna get this for the ceiling. And then I think I'm gonna get again, just ultra white button eggshell for the walls. To be honest, David should have come with me because I can't be trusted in the paint aisle. I don't know why, but I just want to buy every color. I spent way, way, way too much time there. Okay, next, just because I was by it, I mean, can I really, like, look at how close Lowe's is. I, I just have to. What if they have Valentine's Day stuff? I don't know. So I'm going to check. Let's see. I found some really cute stuff, but nothing cute enough for me to wait in the long line. Like a couple things, if I had found something that I really, really wanted, I probably would have also gotten them, but I wasn't about to wait in like a really long line to buy them, if you know what I mean. Try to take it back, right? Holy sh Okay. Oh my God. I know, that's oh. why I said don't come in here. Take this apart to wash it. Here's what I ended up finding at Target in terms of Valentine's Day stuff. They were just putting the like other stuff out in the holiday aisles, but aren't these so cute? I love them. Now, dog's chewing on some stuff. I am going to spackle everything that I can right now. Just try to get everything as smooth as possible so that tomorrow I can paint or sand and paint, you know. Lots of mess. There's a lot going on right now. Okay, so that's what it's looking like before. And then it's looking pretty smooth if I do say so myself. Trying really, really hard on these edges.
Did I have my arm? <laughs> He's like, no. This is my arm now. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of dog in this, but I wanted to show you guys my haul of Valentine's Day stuff because I wasn't that successful the other day, but today when I went, there was so much good stuff and I also figured I'd show David at the same time. We'll start off. Hello. Very cute. Black hearts. You usually don't usually don't find a lot of stuff with black hearts. Okay, next. Oh, that's fun. I got a, it's for like when you're cooking and you have a spatula or something, you could set it down and then that way you don't get like your counter dirty. I usually just use a plate. It's also microwave and dishwasher safe. Or alternatively, it's a really big soup spoon. Sure. I got these pink shells. Oh, okay. I like how they're little elves. Elves? They're elves. Kitchen towels. Cute. More kitchen towels. Very cute still. More kitchen towels. I like how these ones like protrude. Yeah, these ones are cute. Yes. They're bumpy. They're textured, I guess. And then, look at oh, it. Oh, that's jar. fun. For like, I can put some candy or whatever in. I like it. I had a jar. It was a pump. It was a glass pumpkin. For Halloween and then it had- I, at one point, I bought a huge bag of Swedish fish and then we didn't know what to do with them because I was not, I found a Swedish fish. And so I put them in there and actually everyone ate them that came over, like- Everyone ate them. They did, like so many, everyone just came and grabbed a handful, which was great. That's what I wanted. Amazing. Oh, those are cute. Microwave and dishwasher safe. Ooh, fun. Okay. And then look at how cute. Okay, so I think this one was messed up because this side is painted. This side is not, but the hooks are on hmm. the painted side. That one was cheaper than the other one I got, but I planned on painting them anyway, so. Are you gonna go pink? Because you have something similar to this, right? You mean like that? Yeah, like that. No, that one's probably gonna go to like a mint green or like a pastel purple. Okay. But okay. then I got a pink one. Well, you do have a like a heart thing, right? Is that pink or is that red? Those are red, which I will paint. I got some pretty. <laughs> what? Is it cute? I got some like pastel garland. There was so much pretty garland, but the thing is, obviously, if you can't tell, I don't really love red, which a lot of it's red. I don't really like red that much for like in the house or like on me. I'm just not like a red person. I was able to find like a more like pastel. I like like the vibe for Valentine's Day I like is like um, the candy hearts, not like red and pink, but like pastel candy hearts like that color and pink, of course, pink, but not red. So um, I think that's it. Nice. I feel like you had a very successful Valentine's Day haul. Anyway, that's my haul. Perfect. Great. Okay. Um, what Okay, so I'm almost done. Um, nope, I'm not almost done, actually. You're about half, you're pretty. You're, uh, okay. You're further than halfway. I'm done with the plaster. I've done it all for all the edges, all of the walls, everything. Now I'm gonna sand and then we will, I'll probably do another little small touch up and we'll paint. David is working on the cabinets. got the ceiling almost completely smooth, but there is so much dust. So much. And all over me. I have textured any of the places I've touched up. We've taped everything off and now we're gonna paint. I decided to do myself a favor and buy a paint sprayer because I want to do all of the ceilings in my house and this with a roller just did not seem appealing. So we're gonna learn how to do this today.
and we're pretty much like 90% done. So we have a couple little issues. So I got these cabinets, right? They sent this one to us pre-built and then they forgot in our other two boxes to send this like bottom piece for these ones. So we don't have a bottom piece for that. So we're gonna call tomorrow and see if we can somehow get that. But yeah, so here is this. Um, these aren't put against the wall yet. We will mount them to the wall and make them like flush with the wall, like, you know, actual cabinets. But I don't know what wallpaper I wanna put up yet. So we can't, can't do that until I decide what wallpaper. So another issue I have is there's not a lot of space here. And I have my trash can over there. I don't really know where I'm gonna put my trash can. So that's a me problem, but um, I'm gonna move all of my stuff from um, here to into there for the pantry and then here for miscellaneous items. I might have to get like a trash can thing that goes like underneath, but you wanna do it up? Hello, so today will probably be my last day of the vlog. Right now I'm going to go to lunch. I'm at Fifth and Broadway um, here in Nashville and I've never been here before and it is so busy. Anyway though, I'm gonna go to lunch with my friend and her mom and then I think I'm gonna go try and find a wallpaper today. I don't know how many stores actually carry wallpaper, but I'm gonna look. I couldn't decide so I got a grilled cheese waffle and a sweet waffle. <laughs> you guys, look what I got. It's a Venus fly trap. I've always wanted one, but looking at it, for some reason, I think it like low key gives me the heebie jeebies. I think it's because there's like pictures of like bugs on it. Ooh, I don't know why, but I just feel some way about it. But I've always wanted one. I think they're very cool. I'm a little stressed about it. I've been driving like I have a live animal in my car or something, like it's a hamster. Anyway, I'm at the wallpaper thrift store. So I hope they have some cool wallpaper. Well, I know wallpaper is like not super in nowadays. Let's go see if they have some cool wallpaper or something. Okay, so I spent a bit of time in there. There was so much beautiful wallpaper they had. At least 50 books of just wallpaper, different collections from different designers, etc. But I felt kind of weird, to be honest. They were super, super strict about not taking any pictures of any of the wallpaper because they didn't want you to order at a different place, which I totally understand. I do try to get local when I can, which is partially why I like drove into Nashville to come and look at this wallpaper. I can't just like decide on wallpaper after seeing it like once. I like to edit in how it's gonna look in my room. And I do that with everything. I do that with my rugs. I do that with wall colors. I do that with furniture. And they didn't say a word to me the whole time. I was probably in there at least half an hour and then while I was looking, some a couple people like came and went and every single time someone left, the people would ask each other if they took pictures and they would talk about them. So I probably wouldn't come back here to order wallpaper, which I'm really sad about because I really liked a lot and I do like to support local, but like if I can't take a picture to show David and get his like opinion on it or anything like that, like I don't know how I'm, I don't know how they expect people to be able to just like look at it and be like, I'm going to order that for my house, especially it's like actual wallpaper. It's not like peel and stick. Um, so I'm going to go home now. My plans for the evening were canceled. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this video is a little all over the place, so I'm going to try to do a little bit better in next video. I have a lot of plans and I feel like this month is going by so quick that I'm going to really try to get everything done that I want to. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.